Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for June 16th to 23rd. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's take a look and see what's in store for you this week. If you're new, hi, thanks for coming by. I hope you click subscribe. If you're returning, a massive thanks to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Ugly, ugly, smokely, pokely. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you. Two, okay. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, what a turn of events. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Well then, some of you, holy shit. Okay, I'm just gonna, this feels very much like a love reading, so I'm just gonna pull all the cards out and we'll dive in, okay? Um, yeah, right? Sorry. All right, so... Okay, so this obviously needed to happen, Capricorn. Um, and maybe this was the tip of the iceberg or the cherry on top of the cake um, or this moment where you were just like, I can't be in this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't, I don't really want to do this anymore. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you're not, you're not sad. It doesn't mean that you're not feeling stuff about it, right? Like it doesn't mean that you're not entitled to have emotions. So let me try and see if I can switch that up just a little bit. It was bothering me. Um, it doesn't mean that you are not allowed to have feelings about it or have emotions or be worked up. Um, but at the same time, I think you're recognizing and you're being very clear in the fact that this relationship was just not, not serving you anymore. Deception. It's safe for you to love past life relationship. Yeah, like it's like... Jeez Louise. I think that one of the biggest gifts that you could give yourself Capricorn this is an intense reading I thought it was like I thought we were gonna go into like a deep love reading but no the cards had other plans but obviously you're watching this you're watching this for a reason right um the hermit yeah uh the eight of cups yeah the six of wands yeah um this feels really toxic oh yeah a king of cups um reversed oh, that's like a master manipulator the five of cups underneath here the queen of swords the hair of fun. yeah Jeez. okay all right so now that we have all the cards out because i really feel like this is going to be a love reading um i don't normally do this for the weeklies but this is the message that's coming through and it's coming through loud and clear so capricorn if you want to stick around and watch this watch if not i understand if you click off um that's fine um so i think something happened during the solar eclipse last week I think that there was something that was revealed to you. Something was made true to you. Uh, perhaps an inkling, an, an, some, a gut feeling you had about your partner, about a romantic prospect for some of you, somebody you were talking to. For some, it was like a long-term relationship, but for others of you, it was a prospect, right? It was somebody you've been hanging out with. Maybe you guys were like dating, but you were just in the infancy stage of dating, okay? Um, the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups tells me that this person, uh, with, with this, this person came on real strong, okay? This was like, <laughs> yeah, oh my God, were they like Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hyde? Um, I feel like this person came on really, really, really strong. And they were like, hey, hi, hello. Um, you know, I wanna date you, I wanna be with you, etc., etc." And it may have made you feel like, Oh wow, finally I have this person, or wow, finally I met somebody who's amazing, you know, and so you were in this energy of like excitement and maybe you hid the red flags, right? Um, and you chose not to see them, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like this person came on really strong and you fell head over heels and that's okay, you know, sometimes it happens to us, right? Um, and Capricorn, some of you might be like, no, not me, uh, but yes, in this case. Um, I think that it was there was a lot of love in the beginning as well, this connection. Oh, but shortly after the solar eclipse, which just happened, I think you, rec you realize something with that Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. I think you saw that you needed to leave this person. I think you recognize that this person was not for you. I think this person, for some of you, may have been a cheater. I'm feeling like master manipulator, a manipulating piece of shit, um, a lying bastard. 
Um, I'm whispering because I don't want the YouTube peoples to come after me. Um, I feel like you found out maybe this person was having an affair, sleeping with other people. For some of you, they even got somebody else pregnant. Jesus. This is like, this is deep. Capricorn. I, I think that you have a karmic connection with this person. I think this person may have been like a karmic soulmate. Um, and maybe you thought that this time they changed. And maybe this is a person that you've gone back and forth with a bunch of times. But now here you are. Um, that's Willow, by the way. Now, now here you are, past love related. You have known each other in the hermit yet. This is like a repeating cycle, a repeating pattern. They cheat, you guys get back together. They are, they lie, you get back together. They do this, they get back together. It just feels very toxic. It also feels like it's loopy, right? Like a roller coaster. It is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think that this week you're kind of realizing like enough's enough. I don't want to be with this person anymore. Enough's enough. Uh, I'm done with their games. I'm done with playing. I'm done with giving my heart to them. I'm done with their like excuses. I'm done with them coming back over and over again. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I just ugh, like Capricorn. I wish I had like this cooler reading for you, but I really feel like you're watching this as a, a as validation, as confirmation that you need to fucking end it with this person. Like this person is not your person. This person is a piece of shit. And you know this and this person is awful and they're manipulative and they're toxic and they're a liar and they play games and they do all these things and i think you're finally calling it out for what it is you're calling a spade a spade success i know that there's no greater goal than to love and i think you're done you're like i love myself above all else i'm not going to entertain this i'm not going to be a part of this i refuse to be in this i don't i don't want this for myself period. And I don't blame you. Straight up, I don't blame you. This is awful. And I wish that I had a better reading for you. But I'm also really glad that if this is your confirmation to detach yourself from to leave them to walk away to move out to move countries to delete block all the things. Yes, yes, please Capricorn do that because they're going to continue to try they're going to continue to try and give another chance. Give me another chance, babe. Give me 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 fuck. No, no. This is like such a warning of a reading in the sense of like, you already know this person's motto, you know their game, you know their, get, like their game plan. Don't fall into the trap, okay, Capricorn? Don't fall into the trap. All right, Capricorn, um, that is your weekly reading. Sorry, it wasn't anything more. Um, I'm really annoyed and I hate this person, so please, you're better than them, okay? Um, if you wanna um, book a live one hour reading with me or shop over at Starcy Jewels, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out, bye.